Hi and welcome to Let's Cook and Star Stories. Today we are going to make a classic mutter paneer. But of course my style with a twist. I'm pretty sure you have tried plenty of paneer recipes before. But I can promise you this, if you follow this method, you will end up with the softest, most tender paneer you have ever made. I like my paneer to be incredibly soft, melt in your mouth and never chewy. Over time, I have devised a little trick to achieve that perfect texture. And the trick? Soak the paneer cubes in hot water while you prepare the gravy. It's a fact. The dish is the quintessential vegetarian favorite. I have such vivid memories of my childhood when my mom would ask my dad to bring home just a small amount of paneer, precisely 200 grams, especially for that one vegetarian guest at the table. Even in households that enjoy non-veg dishes, I bet everyone has ordered a paneer recipe at least once in their lives. Paneer is one of the earliest forms of cheese made without rennet. It became popular in vegetarian communities because it's packed with protein and works beautifully in a variety of dishes. What's fascinating to me is how paneer transcends food preferences. Even in families that primarily eat non-vegetarian food, paneer holds its own. Out of all the paneer-based dishes, mutter paneer stands out as truly iconic. Its comforting flavors, versatility, and ability to impress make it a favorite for any occasion. Plus, it's packed with health benefits. Mutter or the green peas are a great source of fiber, which aids digestion and helps regulate blood sugar levels. Paneer provides a rich source of protein and calcium, essentially for building and repairing muscles and bones. A quick reminder, if you are enjoying this video, please let me know with a like or comment. Please do subscribe if you haven't already. And let's not forget the aromatic spices. I have also added dried fenugreek leaves to this recipe. Now, if you love making Indian dishes, dried fenugreek leaves are a pantry must-have. In most recipes, the gravy is prepared first and then the peas and paneer are added. But here, we are taking a step further to add an extra layer of texture and flavor. By sauteing the finely chopped onions with spices and coriander before combining everything, we bring a deeper, richer taste to the dish that truly elevates the recipe. <laughs> Growing up, paneer always had a special place on our dining table, but it was treated like a delicacy. I remember my mom specially saving it for important guests of festive occasions. As I said before, she would ask my dad to bring home just a small block of paneer, enough to make a dish that felt luxurious and thoughtful. Do share your own paneer stories, I'd love to hear them. Now let's add the soaked and drained paneer cubes. Trust me, these are the softest cubes and they'll soak up all the delicious flavors of the gravy. Remember we grated the paneer at the start of the video? This is where it comes in. Now toss in some ginger matsticks and mild long chili peppers for that extra flavor kick. The grated paneer is going to give the curry a rich, indulgent look and feel. Add hot water to adjust the consistency. And don't forget to taste test and adjust the seasoning. Finally, sprinkle garam masala and kasuri methi, dried fenugreek leaves. I wish I could put into words just how amazing this smells, but you will have to make it yourself to truly understand what I mean. Your warm, protein and fiber rich mutter paneer is now ready to serve. Garnish with fresh coriander, grated paneer, ginger mat sticks, red chilies, and enjoy it with rice or chapati. It's a true soul satisfying meal. If you have enjoyed this video and want to see more such videos, all you have to do is hit the subscribe button. Thank you for watching and happy cooking.